Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma Godson and for those of you who are new here and you have not seen my face before, I'm a stylist, I'm a creative director, I'm also an influencer and a blogger over at emmagodson.com. So of course, please do go and read my blog, please do subscribe to the channel, Ding. and of course follow me over on all of my Instagrams and social media handles as well. So today's video, we are going to be starting a new series, which is Style Sessions with Emma Godson. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you guys tips and tricks on what you guys should be doing in the seasons, for occasions, how to dress up your wardrobe, what you should be looking out for, what kind of stuff you should be buying as staple pieces, all of that amazing stuff. Today, we're going to be starting off with the essential jackets and coats that you need in the autumn winter season, because... To be quite frank, we're in that season now where we're, it's not really warm anymore. The rain is here, the trees are shedding with their leaves and it's time to get out your boots, your coats, your heavy jackets and all of that stuff. So, of course, I'll be sharing with you guys all of the jackets and kind of coats and things like that that you guys would need in this season. So, without rambling on any further, let's get into this video. So, the first jacket that I would 100% recommend or say that I always wear when this time of the year comes around is a tailored long coat. Now, a tailored coat is almost like an extension of a blazer. It's got a nice little lapel, it's got structure to it, it's got shoulder pads, but it keeps you warm in these seasons. Now, I love a tailored coat because it is super, super smart, but it does both things. It keeps you smart, keeps you warm, and you look super stylish at the same time. Now, I have got quite a few different tailored coats that I have in my wardrobe, and I generally say, when you're buying tailored coats, stick to the very neutral colours, dark colours that you can wear with so many different outfits. So I've got a navy blue one, I've also got a black one, I've also got a cream and a brown one. But those kind of colours are easy to style up so many different ways and I think it's so important that you can get clothes that you can style up for different outfits and you're not just buying a red coat because it looks amazing and you can only wear it once. You can wear blazers underneath and put a tailored coat on top just to kind of give it a nice little layering effect or you can put on a nice little roll neck like I have today a tailored coat on top and you've got yourself a nice perfect look for the autumn season. Now like I said I have quite a few different coats and I would 100% say that there's so many of them out on the market at the moment but always go for quality. In terms of the colours guys, blacks, navies, greys, browns, that kind of thing is perfect. Now you can style up tailored coats so many different ways which I absolutely love. You can style them up with boots and kind of flat boots which are kind of like knee high or you can style them up with ankle boots which are perfect because it still gives you that dressed up sexy vibe but you're still warm or you can dress it all the way down put on some trainers a tailored coat even a hoodie underneath which it gives it a nice little retro vibe but still quite chic and stylish as well perfect perfect for this time of the year so the next jacket is almost like I would say like an oversized coat. Now, I'm not really the girl who generally does oversized stuff because I like it to, I like my outfits to still feel quite tailored, put together, chic, you know, um, fitted to the body. But lately I've kind of picked up a few, well not picked up, I've actually been sent quite a few different oversized jackets and I'm quite liking them. They give a kind of like duvet feel, so you can literally wrap yourself in the jacket. You haven't got to think about your, your outfit too hard, but you know that the jacket looks super cool, super chic and super effortless as well, but it's still quite stylish. So like I said, I am generally the person that likes a fitted, structured look, but the, the, the jacket that I have and the jacket that I've just picked up recently is an oversized teddy style jacket. It's very warm, heavy fabric, very, very, when you put it on, you do feel a little bit weighed down, but that's exactly what you need when you're going out into the cold, when it's raining, when it's super windy, that's the kind of jacket that you need. It is a jacket from Ducey London. I don't know if it's Ducey, Ducey, Ducey London. Now they've kindly sent me one of their oversized jackets and I absolutely love it. I love the color. It's almost like a, a neutral cream color it is super super warm super versatile you can throw on like a hat if you'd like to keep yourself quite warm 
still looks put together and of course warm and perfect for this season now i don't just have this one that i've recently been sent i have another one which i'll pop up in the cutaways beep, um, which is another one i picked up from h&m i've also got another one which is quite similar it's a little bit shorter which is from reese i got it years and years ago but teddy coats are just perfect for keeping warm still keeping stylish and obviously when they're a little bit oversized you haven't got to think about your outfit too much and you know you still look stylish from the outside i always go for a size down when i do an oversized jacket because i don't ever like to feel like i'm drowning in my coat and um, i feel like i'm quite a small frame as it is so when i do do oversized i generally like to go for my size or a size down just so that the oversized isn't too overwhelming for my small frame the next jacket that i would 100 percent say is perfect for the autumn winter season is a puffer coat now i love my puffer coat it is a long olive green puffer coat that i picked up years and years and years ago and i think i picked this up from arket and it is one of those jackets that you literally feel like you're in a sleeping bag it's very very like smart casual or super super casual but both of these looks can easily be super comfortable and super warm and that is the aim for this season yes you want to look stylish yes you want to look super put together and chic but in london the wind has no friends it will cut you up you'll be freezing and you'll come home with a cold so make sure you're looking stylish but of course you've got the right appropriate jacket on and a puffer jacket is exactly that remember when you're wearing puffer coats and big coats make sure they're super good quality because really you're not going to see your outfit underneath when you're actually styling up looks in the autumn winter season you're really going to see your outfit your your outfit from the outside so you'll have a big jacket on probably some boots gloves and a hat your top and your trousers yes they're part of the outfit but they're not really going to be seen as much as your coat is so i always say make sure you're going for a super quality one a nice puff that's got some nice quilting in it and it's super warm and it looks nice from the outside the next jacket is of course a raincoat slash trench slash lighter weight long jacket the sun is shining it's still a bit brisk it's still a bit cold the wind is still there but it's not super super cold we're in that season at the moment as i'm filming this video where it's cold but there's still days when the forecast is saying it's going to be sunny outside and you're just not sure if it's really really warm or really really cold this is the time that you bring out your trenches bring out your raincoats bring out your lighter kind of long jackets now not only are they super super stylish but they are just the perfect weight for an effortless chic look for the autumn winter season now in terms of the way i usually style up these kind of jackets in this kind of season is i layer up so i'll put on some kind of leather jacket underneath the trench coat or underneath the raincoat and i'll put the raincoat on top it gives it a nice little layering effect and i 100 percent say when you are doing this of course make sure you're checking the weather because you don't want to go out there and thinking it's going to be a warmish day and you are trapped out there knowing you should have put on a puffer coat but you're trapped with a trench there's so many different wear places that you can buy trench coats from they're super lightweight so i would never say splurge on a trench coat because a lot of them are quite similar fabrics um but they are important to have in the times when it's not super super cold outside so the last coat that i would 100 percent recommend for the autumn winter season is a faux fur kind of gilet or long sleeve coat now of course back in the day everyone used to wear real fur and it's kind of just unethical at this point it's just horrible to think that you're wearing a full fur jacket that's a fox fur or whatever the case is so i think right now and not even right now just going forward just being sustainable and being a little bit more conscious of the environment and how these animals are being treated i would 100 percent say always always focus on a faux fur jacket that looks super quality that gives that kind of real fur vibe but isn't real fur so 
I definitely live in these kind of jackets in this season. You do not feel a thing. You put it on, you can actually have a very light, long sleeve, thin top underneath, like a t-shirt or even like a really lightweight roll neck underneath and then you put a fur coat on and you do not feel a thing. That is the best thing to buy and invest in for this season. Now, there's so many different brands out there that do really, really good fur jackets that look great, great quality, faux fur and you don't have to feel really bad when you're wearing it because it's obviously faux it's not a real jacket and it just gives you that warmth that style that you need again i would 100 percent style up those kind of jackets with layers underneath so i put like leather jackets underneath denim jackets underneath and if it's a gilet a denim jacket underneath looks amazing or a leather jacket underneath looks amazing it looks like one jacket but it's actually two and it gives the jacket a little bit more of dimension and i will always always wear my jackets like that year on year out now we've spoken about all of the coats, let's move on to the jackets of the autumn winter season. So jackets are super key for the autumn winter season as well. Not every day do you wanna wear a big puffer jacket or a big kind of long tailored style jacket. You just wanna wear something that's quite stylish, still quite fitted, put together, gives you a little bit of a vibe, gives you a bit of a style and that is possible with the three jackets that I'm gonna be mentioning today. So the first style is a blazer. Now you guys know how I feel about blazers. Blazers are 100% the style for every single woman's wardrobe. Every girl should have about three to four blazers in their wardrobe, blacks, browns, creams, whites, as a minimum. I have all the colors. I have all of the kind of colors on the Pantone list and I'm still building, but I always say a blazer is a super, super chic, sharp way to style up your wardrobe for the autumn winter season. Not only are they great for layering underneath garments, but you can actually have loads and loads of layers on your, your top. So for example, you can have a roll neck, underneath your roll neck you've got a vest and maybe another t-shirt or a long sleeve top. You put a roll neck on top, you know your body's super warm, it's thermal, it's you know heated, and then you put a blazer on top, you're still very warm, but you look super stylish from the outside. So if you're gonna do like jackets or lighter jackets in the autumn winter season, always, always layer up from underneath. So put as many layers as you can underneath a jumper, underneath a roll neck where it can't be seen, and then you pop a blazer on top, from the outside you look super chic put together very clean looks very clean lines but you're still very very warm now i live in blazers guys i would rock blazers even like a waistcoat blazer style so it might have a blazer vibe but it's more like a waistcoat style that is a great way to also do that i'll pop up a picture here where i have done that on the instagram recently um leather blazers they don't necessarily have to be a cloth they can be leather they can be wool they can be all sorts of fabrics as long as you're layering up underneath and of course the blazer on top isn't like a just like a finishing touch almost just gives you a nice clean structured feel now you guys know blazers always give you a nice tailored element i love tailoring throughout all of my looks. I love throwing on a blazer somewhere. I love throwing on some kind of sharp outfit or some sharp jacket on top. It just gives you that structured, polished, finished look. And it doesn't really cost you that much. You don't have to think about it too tough. Just get a really good quality blazer. Now, in terms of where you can get blazers from, you guys know how I feel about a high-end blazer, Alexandra McQueen. Probably the best to ever do it in terms of structure, style, fit incredible but that's if you want to spend a couple thousand pounds if you want to keep it very high street and very kind of like mid-tier asos man are great um zara man is great zara is great reese is great arquette is great um but then if you want to go high end i always say alexandra mcqueen is great balmain is great of course and then in between the frankie shop they do amazing jackets and blazers and that kind of style for an affordable for an affordable price and you don't have to break the bank great places to go for blazers so that is, of course, the blazer segment of this video. Moving on to the leather jackets. 
Now I've kind of touched upon leather jackets in terms of styling pieces when I was talking about the coats, but a leather jacket is super key for this season. Now, if you are the girl who likes to do like a very casual look, and maybe you're going for a school run, maybe you're just going out for um, a very light, chilled out day, you don't wanna do too much, a leather jacket layered on top of your shoulders or thrown on top of an outfit is super stylish, super chic, quite quirky as well and I love it. Now I've got quite a few different leather jackets. I've got an acne leather jacket, I have got a menswear Zara leather jacket, I have got a, a new jacket that was actually just sent to me by Jane and Tash, a very very luxurious bespoke brand that do really cool stylish leather jackets. I think I got that in the white and I just love a leather jacket because it just creates an edgy look when you throw it on top of a very simple outfit. You can have some black leggings on, a black roll neck, and then you throw a leather jacket on top. It's just super cool, super stylish, and it just looks very put together, but it gives you a little bit of an edge when you're wearing it. You slick your hair back, put on some dark shades, and you've got a great look. So, a leather jacket is a definite winner. Um, I always try to go oversized, just a little bit oversized with a jacket. You don't want it to be too, too fitted, just because it doesn't give you that edgy look. If, it, if a leather jacket is too tight, it does kind of take away from that like street style element it kind of looks a little bit too put together and tailored but you want it to look a little bit more street style vibe so when you do have oversized you can easily put like hoodies underneath you can put bigger bigger like jumpers and like really big knits underneath because there's space for you to do that so just be mindful of the sizing when you are buying leather jackets but definitely splurge on a leather jacket make sure it's a real leather jacket get that real smelling leather jacket they last for a lifetime and just another point actually with a leather jacket it doesn't have to be like the usual biker jacket style when i talk leather jackets i've got hundreds of different styles of leather jackets that you can wear in this season i picked up one from the premium trend section in h&m which is a little bit more pricey up but it was worth it so it's a almost like a shaquette kind of style where it has a nice little belted detail it's got some nice patch pockets on the front a nice little collar but it's a leather jacket and you wear it on top of some leggings or some leather trousers you've got a whole leather look going on with some nice boots it is just such a nice put together stylish way of doing leather jackets without having to be quite street style you can still be an elegant way of doing a leather jacket i hope you enjoyed this style session i hope you got some tips and tricks on what kind of jackets you should be having in your wardrobe this time of the year how you can kind of elevate your wardrobe and make sure you incorporate these pieces into your wardrobe if you don't have them already and of course hopefully some styling tips that you got as well in terms of how to make these jackets work loads of different ways i hope you enjoyed the cutaways as well and of course if you have made it to the end of this video please do hit that subscribe button please do join the amber godson family we are a new family over here we do fashion tips tricks beauty style vlogs all of that great stuff in between and we release every single week so join the amber godson family and hopefully i shall see you in my next video take care guys Mwah. bye